All right, what a beautiful day we have on this Sunday. Got the bike out. Gonna get rid of these hideous turn signals that stick way out. And we're gonna put these flush mount LEDs that I got here. All right, I have one side taken apart. It took me less than five minutes. All you have to do, and I'm a first timer, so I'm just going and learning as I'm going. There's three bolts in the side of the fairing here. One, two, and three, and then the fairing will be loose. Then you take the air duct off. There's a rubber piece here, a rubber gasket, you take that off. Then there's going to be this piece goes in like that. There's one mounting bracket here. It's a little push pin. You push it in and it'll come out. And then you come in under here and there's another one right there that you can see. So there's only five little things that hold it together. And then once this is out of the way, once this air duct is out of the way, you can see the back of the light. Where is it? Right here. And there's just one 10 millimeter bolt that holds it on. And we'll take that off. I got it unplugged. Got it loose. Take off the mounting plate that they have here. And pull off the turn signal. And that's as easy as it is. I'm going to go ahead and mount one up. And then I'll show you what it looks like. New versus old. The only modification I'm doing is on the back side of the stock turn signal. There will be this black plastic piece that we will be re reusing instead of buying a $15 piece of metal offline. All we're going to do is trim off this nub piece here that goes into the stock light. We're going to cut it flat so that we can use it with the aftermarket turn signals. And here is the plastic piece, modified, which you will never see. Saved fifteen dollars by doing this. <laughs> All right, we got one side done. This is what it's looking like with one flush mount LED turn signal installed, nice and clean. And then this is what it looks like on the other side. So there's a big difference. It cleans up the bike a lot, and I am very happy with it. So. Go ahead and do the other side, show you guys what the bike's looking like with both of them on, and then we'll wait until it gets a little darker and get a good view of the lights in action. And here's a quick little video of the blinkers in the daytime. You can clearly see it blinking. So now I got the LEDs in the front. and the LEDs in the tail. Looking good, looking good.